Uh, uh, are we back at the tournament arena? What's wrong with you? Vegeta, tell me it isn't true. You let Bobbity Spell take control of you, didn't you? Because doing something like this would make me fight you. It's true, isn't it? If I hadn't gone to these links, we wouldn't be about to fight. I had one day, one measly day in which to beat you, and I wasn't going to waste it standing around on that ship. That was your reasoning? You killed countless innocents to try and repair your meaningless pride? Meaningless? What do you know of meaningless? I don't give a damn about Majin Buu. All I want is my fight with Kakarot. Here and now, I will emerge as the victor once and for all. There's no reason he ever should have bested me. He and I are both Saiyans. But I was royalty among our people. I was a prince, yet he prevailed. He, he even had the impudence to save my life before! And that is an indignity I cannot bear! Bobbity! Move us to some place where there's no one else around! I'll give Vegeta the fight he wants, but not here! <laughs> All right then, guess you can fight somewhere else. <laughs> For you to go this far, you must have wanted to settle the score real badly, huh, Vegeta? Can't lie, I get it. Farewell, Bulma. Trunks. And even you, Kakarot. Margin Blue, kill this guy first. Right now! Who here you first time? Come on, big guy. Why is somebody as strong as you taking orders from a shrimp like Bobbity? Nobody asked for your opinion. Margin Blue is my loyal servant, and he obeys my every command if he knows what's good for him. Vegeta already tried the golden hair trick, and look what happened to him. Hold on. There's regular old Super Saiyan. Then there's a level beyond Super Saiyan. 
but further beyond that. I'm not done. Let's do this already. I'm sorry this took so much longer than the others, but I haven't had as much practice with this one. This is what I call Super Saiyan 3. If I don't, who will? Dragon Fist! Trunks is on the move. Hopefully that means he found the Dragon Radar and is leaving West City. Goku, I'm sorry, but it's about time we took you back to Otherworld. Right. I understand. Uh, uh, um. What's the matter, Goten? Uh. Goten, honey, do you want to give your dad a hug before he goes? Aw, oh, was that all? You should have said so, son. Bring it in. Goten, you take good care of your mom for me, okay? <laughs> well, that's it, everybody. I'll see you all on the other side. Down to you! 
Damn you both! What? Not winning as easily as you thought. Don't be such a baby about it. If it means anything, even I'm surprised at how easily I'm kicking your face in. Just about enough fun for one day. So I'm going to give you ten seconds to say your prayers before I wrap this up. This is bullcrap! Alright, let's hope this plan is crazy enough to work. Your strength is truly amazing. You've always been like this, ever since the day I first met you. You were prepared to meet a challenge, even when it was bigger than you were. First, I thought it was your loved ones, but it was your blind instinct to protect them that spurred you on, pushed you beyond your limits. And certainly that was part of it. But over the years, I realized there was more, something else in the way you approach a battle. I used to fight with the sheer pleasure of it. Sparing no one, I killed the dominant to feed my insatiable pride. But you didn't fight to kill, or even to win, only to test your limits and become the strongest you could possibly be. You showed mercy to everyone, unique. as if you knew one day I would possess the tiniest sliver of a soul. But here I am, fighting alongside of you. Defy all logic. By some miracle, the passion has rubbed off on me, and I still don't fully understand how you do it. How can you say and fight with such power, and at the same time be so gentle? Perhaps it's my anger that made me blind to the truth of Solo. Hang in there, Kakarot. You are number one. Get ready to see me If I don't, who will? Get ready to see my real I don't, who will? Dragon Dash! Kakarot, you can finish him off on your own. Just charge your energy all the way and vaporize this monster. I, what do you think I've been trying to do? I just haven't had a chance to concentrate. I can't focus my power. It's just so hard when he keeps coming at me. I only need a minute. One minute, that's all! Fine, then I'll make my stand against him for the next minute. And while he's occupied, you power up! Supreme Kai's and Dende! Do you hear me up there? If you can, then say something, damn it! Vegeta! Huh? 
I think it's about time we let the people of Earth shoulder the burden for once. The plan is underway. It's time for you to create a spirit bomb. But even if I collect a little energy from all the people who were brought back, it still won't be enough to take down Boo. It won't just be a little bit. You'll get every ounce of spirit energy they can spare. Technically, we want to use the spirit bomb to eat us. Since I've got it to go through, I kind of feel like a brown dad. Okay, guys, it's all set. And you can speak not to just Earthlings, but the whole universe if you want. That's more like it. Citizens of planet Earth, can you hear me? I like this new side of you, Vegeta. Nice going. Here we go. People of Earth, give me your energy. We need you. It's ready! Incredible warrior, Boo. It was you against the universe. You nearly won. I hope you can come back once more, but good. I want to fight you again, one on one, without all the loss. I'll be right there waiting for you, only stronger. Later. You mean you can stay now? We can all be together like a real family? You and Gohan and Goten are back and there's no catch? That's right! I can't wait to get to Mount Pauzu and have some of your good old home cooking, Chi-Chi. Oh, come on, Chi-Chi, why are you crying? I thought it was good news. 